All right, I got a little bit of question on this. I was noticing that on my laser, I had this little tick on there, and I don't have a, uh, I don't have a vector for that. And uh, I was sitting there thinking, well, that's right where the tile ends. Of course, you can see where I got misaligned a little bit, but that's right where the tile ends when I was using my tile tool path. And I thought, well, what is that? And I went around here and I looked at the back side of it. Let me move this thing around. And, you know, it's showing up. It's on both sides. So when I ran it twice, it was there just one kind of a glitch. And uh, it's exactly on the top of the tool path. So it's uh, the tile and tool path. Anyway, um, so, but that was a question. And I'm trying to look at that. I'm going to go look at the vectors now and see what the deal is with that. Because that may be just a little bit of a bug or something in the in the laser part of it. But anyway, there we go. Backing away from it. Came out beautiful, and um, there you go. Let's go inside and look at a vector. Um, what I'm looking for on this thing right here is a tick mark. Let's go ahead and turn the tile and tool path back on so that it shows where that tick is. Okay. Now, if you look at this vector right here, uh, there's no vector here, and there's no vector on this side. And but anyway, there's no that little tick mark that I was talking about, it's not on there. So I thought it, that's kind of odd that it would put that on there, especially when I don't have a vector in there of any kind. Um, so uh, kind of kind of an, an unusual thing. And it's only, you know, maybe an inch long in there. So we're going to hide the tile tool, tool, tool path. Of course, it turned it off. And again, there's no vector in there of any kind. So... We're going to turn off all our tool paths, and you'll see that there's nothing there. So, anyway, it's kind of an odd odd duck on that. Also, the other thing was on here. I'm wondering if this is a feature or if this is a is a uh, a bug, but it, it doesn't remember this rapid Z gaps in here. If you change that to zero, it'll default to point two. And uh, you know, I I tried this many times so anyway on the laser it doesn't need to go up and down and you know a point zero zero one seems to be or i can go three zeros and point one you know anyway um it will remember that but it will not remember zero and the laser doesn't have to go up and down it just you know it, it doesn't you don't want it to waste any time going up and down so that's my way of saying zero but it will not retake a zero it will only take something a little bit greater than a zero and remember it and so i thought that was kind of a different thing so anyway if some of you guys can answer that question um, i will include the file on on here and uh, we'll get her going